Hello, Ant Eater fans. Michael O'Sullivan sitting here with Chris Volk, head coach of the UC Irvine men's soccer team, as we bring you another schedule release special. Now, looking at the men's side, we sat down with head coach Scott Juniper a couple days ago, coach, and uh, soccer season right around the corner, which is exciting. We take a look at this program for UCI on the men's side, back-to-back -back Sweet 16 appearances, including the one last year, your first year at the helm officially. But for good reason, a lot of excitement in this fan base and a lot of momentum going into this 2015 campaign. Yeah, I mean, uh, UCI Ren is known as a, as a top 20, top 25 program. And, uh, you know, the expectations are very high now. Uh, expectations from within our own community, uh, here in our own department, but also within the community as well. So, and our alumni are, are completely engaged in our program and, and want to see continued success going forward, so. Yeah, the NCAA tournament a year ago, you got it off with a win over UNLV, who you actually begin play this year with an exhibition match on the 16th of August. And of course, that very exciting win over Stanford. Uh, but let's delve into this slate now with the non-conference. It'll open up with Loyola Chicago on August 28th here at Anteater Stadium. So always nice to open things up at home, isn't it? Yeah, we've uh, traditionally tried to be at home uh, as a home opener the first game, other than the exhibition game away at UNLV. And right. You know, Loyal Chicago is well coached, uh, former player from UCSB, uh, Neil Jones, and uh, he's done a great job with, in a short amount of time at that program, and it'll be nice to be at home before we have to go on the road. And you're going to hit the Midwest for a little bit. You go to Omaha, you're going to kick things off there in Nebraska, uh, with Nebraska-Omaha in early September, and then you go at Creighton on a Sunday early in September. That's a game that jumps out. The Blue Jays a perennial powerhouse in college soccer. Yeah, the, the whole trip is going to be tough. Uh, anytime you're traveling across the country or to the Midwest, um, we're going to have two very good contests. Um, Jason Mims has done a great job at, at UNO. They have a great stadium, some facilities there, and um, I think we played their inaugural game there a couple years back, uh, but yeah. not, it'll be on a different field. And then Creighton, um, like you said, is, has been a perennial NCAA tournament team, uh, college cup program. So you want to test yourself against some of the best teams in the country, and that's what we're going to do early in non-conference. Yeah, and you look throughout September, a couple games at Anteater Stadium, one San Diego State, uh, but before that, you'll go to San Diego to take on the Toreros. And then it's a Southwest trip with Oral Roberts and SMU. And then you come back home as Big West play kind of lurks in October. You start with Loyola Marymount. That'll be on Thursday, the 24th of September here at home. And then you go at UCLA, the national runner-up, the Bruins losing to Virginia in the national final a year ago. So that's a nice little tune-up for you guys before Big West play gets Sure. Going. You know, I think right now, um, you know, on the West Coast, you know, the Big West and the Pac-12 are, are some of the you know, top of the two top conferences in the Western region right. and probably two of the top five in the country. So, you know, to have an opportunity uh, to go and play at UCLA uh, will be a good test for us right before we start conference. So we'll, our, our, we're looking forward to that opportunity. Yeah, and then you'll get conference play going with Santa Barbara here at home, and then Cal Pally, it'll take on the Central Coast teams. And talk about this conference, because it's just been loaded the last couple of seasons. Fullerton winning the tournament a year ago, but you know it really is a fight for points night in and night out, isn't it? Being at home to, to play, you know, face the North teams, uh, Santa Barbara and San Luis Obispo. New coach at uh, San Luis Obispo there was Steve Sampson, so I know he's going to come in and and get that program headed in the right direction. So, you know, the rest of the conference, you know, October is going to be, uh, it's going to be a grind every week. You know, we're playing two matches a week all the way through October and eight teams are vying to, to be those final two in the conference tournament to have the opportunity to, you know, get that automatic qualifier and be considered for the NCAA tournament, so. Well, it'll be a grind, no question. Conference tournament in November. Now, looking at your team specifically, Got to run through some of these guys. Cameron Owasa, Ryan Breslin, both leaving. You do get Michael back, though, in net, which Correct. will be a big help. Lester Hayes, Mitchell Alvarez, Dennis Martinez, Gore Karakosian. I mean, these are big pieces you're missing going into this season, big boots to fill. Who are you looking for to step up this year and kind of fill those positions? Yeah, uh, you know, just to highlight on the six seniors that graduated last year and, um, right, tremendous you know, class. tremendous class, uh, not just what they contributed last year in, in 14, but in 13, but throughout their careers being here. Right. Uh, you know, every class you have an infusion of new players coming in, and those have been being released weekly on our website. Uh, with still a couple more to come. Uh, but we have a lot of good returning players too. Half of our lineup does right. return, starters return. 
Uh, defensively, I think we're going to be very solid. We just have to figure out where our goals uh, and assists are going to come from and our points. So um, we expect others to to step up and fill the, the, the voids of the seniors that are left. And, you know, Brian will be missed in that back line, uh, but we feel right. like we've got some depth there too, so. Well, not too far away now. In August, things will get going. Head coach Chris Folk, the UCU of my men's soccer team, looking to build upon back-to-back -back Sweet 16 appearances. Coach, thanks so much for sitting down with us, and good luck this upcoming year. Thank you, Michael. See you next time, Eater fans.